when it comes to the viewer uh, looking through their browser suggested, like if you're making a video where, as I said, somebody is only going to be interested in your video at a very specific time in their day, then that is again, creating a limitation. So maybe it's um, like how to cook this particular food is like, okay, they're probably going to search for it. They're not really going to look for it. And if they're waking up in the morning and it's a dinner food, they're probably not going to watch it unless they're like really passionate about cooking if it comes up on their browser or suggested. So that means that creating titles which can be watched at basically any point in the day. Um, so for example, with that Putin, what does Putin fear about the war? Like that is a perfect mm -hmm. example of, um, as a perfect example of, I can watch that anytime. I can watch it at midnight. I can watch it in the midday. I'm still going to watch it because it's still interesting to me. So I think if you want to get browse and suggestive views, like thinking about, can this be watched anytime and still be interesting? Because if it can't, then it's probably going to be less easy for YouTube to promote it just constantly. Um, and the mm -hmm. second point is, you mentioned something briefly, which was interesting is people, well, when you were analyzing and learning how to improve your own strategy, you were looking at small channels, which had recently got views, which mm. had been predicting successful. And that is very powerful, I think, is finding channels in your niche that have just recently had like one video out of lots of videos and um, blow up. The reason that's valuable is that if you're just looking at channels which are already successful, they have some benefits in the fact that they are already big because they have social proof, because they have views. So large views means social proof which means that the kind of like fact that it has a hundred thousand views is kind of almost a stamp of approval of culture to say hey this is a good quality video and that is something which a small channel does not have so if the small channel is still succeeding despite having that that is a good sign that it's actually a good video right that's the first point and the second point is just like generally if that channel um is small and has managed to get a lot of views that's probably a video idea which is particularly unique in the space that like maybe not been done in the niche yet. And that could be like a general starting point for maybe a potential series or like continuous number of videos, which could be done just like quite slightly tweaking that same idea. And that could be something you could take over basically. It's like, okay, find something that works and then be the person to then iterate and iterate and iterate over multiple times and then build that into your own series of sorts.